Well, you know, we bought that building for for nothing. But, you, but you're trying to. <laughs> we were in effect where... developers ourselves in buying that building. People thought we were nuts to move our office from Clayton into North Newstead. The neighborhood was bad at that point, and we saw an opportunity to buy this beautiful old building and stake, put our stake in the city of St. Louis. We did it. It turned out to be a very good investment for us. We bought uh, Jimmy and Andy's bar was still there next door. Uh, we bought the property next around the corner from that. So we were part of the investment ourselves, and we thought other people are going to do this. Uh, there were a lot of actors who would go uh, uh, unrewarded for their efforts, who were fighting to save the Central West End, who made it possible to have it saved. They didn't invest themselves. Maybe they owned a house. Maybe they had lived there for a long time on Maryland. <clears throat> you know, Saks had closed and Maryland was bad. But they held the, they, they were sort of like fibers holding the Central West End residential portion together. And there was Balabans, restaurant, you know, those were like, to me, they were, they were sort of like roots, small roots holding this precious area together of the private streets. If you ask people who've lived there for many, many years what they paid for their houses on some of those, <clears throat> it's a joke what they paid. Uh, I forget what we paid for the police station. It was a joke. They would have taken anything. Nobody wanted it. So those residential people held it together long enough for the entrepreneurs to come in and make something of it. They were the fibers that held it together. So what we were doing was we were playing off of those. We were, we were hopeful and young ourselves when we started the, doing the planning work for that area. And we caught the enthusiasm. We caught the investment opportunity as well.